Hi friends. Let's take a deep breath together. Big breath in. Ah, big sigh out. Let's do it again. Big breath in. Let a big sigh out. Sigh through the nose or mouth. So good for our nervous system. Let's just do it once more. Take a big breath in. Let a big breath out. Maybe it may even made you feel a little dizzy. Um, I tend to think that we're a little oxygen deprived. We don't practice deep breathing a lot. I want to take this time to remind you that everything is optional in the practice. You don't need anything in particular. I got these pants at the Goodwill and I'm wearing my friend's business shirt, a little small business. And my friend made these dangle earrings as well. And another friend has a sweet re restyle uh, consignment shop. And so shout out to all of them. And let's practice together. Remember, everything's optional. Let's take a big breath in. Let a big sigh out. So good for your nervous system. Go outside if you can. If you're inside, who cares if people are around? Just move a bit. Shake it out and then let's twirl our arms. So you're more about moving from the heart. Just like warming the body up. Moving some energy. Moving some oxygen. Taking deep breaths and slowing that down when you're ready. Maybe shake it out again. Take a big breath in, reach up, exhale down around you like you're building this like field of oxygen and protection and energy, inhale up, maybe stretch it out there, exhale down, check in with your pants and your shirt, we're going to take a big stretch this time again, inhale, reach up, linger there a moment with your breath, deep breaths, maybe to side to side a little bit to wake up, see what's happening, and then shake it out again, give yourself a break and some easy breaths. Shake it out all over. So good for you, seriously. And then we'll do that again. Arm twirls. This time you can pick a foot up, maybe turn a little bit more. Let your arms totally relax. It feels kind of weird. It probably looks a little weird. Just turn from your heart. Move from your heart. Like lead from the heart. Feels a little different maybe. Keep that going. Keep breathing. Slow it down when you're ready. Shake it out again anytime you need. Check in with your breath. Take your feet a little wider because we're going to squat this time just a bit. Inhale up and then exhale down just as low as you can. It doesn't have to be very low at all. Keep your heels grounded again. Inhale up. Exhale down. Maybe a little higher this time. Challenge just a different direction. Inhale, reach up. And then this time go as low as you can with your heels grounded. Take some deep breaths. Press down like you're going to try to stand back up. Get strong. Reach forward, get strong again, and then lift a little bit, turn your toes forward, press your hips back like you're trying to sit way, way back in a chair. Then we'll fold from here. I'm gonna turn sideways to show you. You can bend your knees a lot. You don't have to take your head below your heart. We're, te we're decompressing the spine. You can hang all the way if that feels safe to you, but deep breaths, and we're just lengthening the spine. Let it lengthen out. Maybe you lift halfway and lift and lengthen and then drop back in a little, relax. When you're ready, from here, take your feet a little wider and then walk your hands forward so you have a flat back. And your hands can be like on a chair if you need to. Reach one arm up with an inhale, then exhale slowly down and we're gonna switch and keep this going a few times. It's just about this movement, turning from the heart. You're strong in the legs and core Strong in the legs and core. Knees can bend as much as you might need. Strong in the legs and core to be fluid and able to move in the upper body. You can linger here for a couple of breaths. Look whichever way feels best to your neck. Check in with your breath, your body, your intuition. Let that be your guide. Change sides when you feel ready. Deep breaths. Checking in strong in the legs and the core. Breathe length. And strength to the spine. When you're ready, we're going to do something a little funky and weird. Bring your feet in a little closer, turn your toes out, walk your hands back, fingers back, sink your hips and lift your heart. Look forward. Keep lifting your heart and looking forward, forward as you try to drop your hips. And so you're super strong in the legs there. And then we're going to take a half squat to one side. This might look all different sorts of things. Doesn't have to look like mine. You might be up quite higher. If you're able to come low, you might Play with your balance. You could always be, again, up quite a bit with both feet grounded in this half lunge. Take your time. Take your time to switch sides. 
however high or low your body feels able to go today. Check in with your breath. Come back home to yourself in that. And you can take a twist here. We'll do it on the other side again. One hand low, other hand high. Get strong in the shape first though. And then just so we're even, if you need to, you can go back to that first side. So we've done them both twice, just with the twist once. Checking in with your breaths. And then from here, we're going to come to stand in goddess pose or horse stance. So turn the toes out, knees out over the center toes. Sit as low as you can. Strong here. Lift one heel and then the other. Maybe you alternate, just playing around with that. Spine is straight and strong. Deep breaths. Maybe you try to lift both. I started to get a cramp where I had most recently broken a bone in my foot. So not yoga related. But then we're going to move it out a little bit here in this goddess pose. So shift side to side. Circle the wrist. Maybe take a stretch overhead. Check in with those breaths. Maybe take the stretch hands behind the back and press them low. And then we can tip like a tea kettle side to side. Strong in the legs again and, and fluid in the upper body. Remember, everything's optional, so you might feel called to move your body a totally different way. That's okay. When you're ready, walk your feet back in. Sit low like you're sitting in a chair. You want to get really strong in your legs. Find a foot you want to balance on, whichever foot leg is stronger, and then cross the leg over. Now you might tap the toes down and keep that kickstand cross leg over as high and tight as you can then get strong and tall in the rest of your body now you might be able to lift that foot and then squeeze it towards the other leg keep squeezing the legs together you can always keep the foot down in the kickstand give yourself a hug with the opposite arm on top from which leg is on top you can keep that hug or come to eagle arms here this is eagle pose now the leg i'm standing on is bent quite a bit you want to bend that standing leg quite a bit and squeeze your arms and legs together Deep breaths here. It's okay if you're wobbly or you fall out and come back. You can keep the hug instead of eagle arms. But keep the arms one way or another. Even when you release your legs, shake them out and then tip a little side to side. So if you have the hug, maybe you're just tipping your shoulders and your neck a little. If you have the eagle arms, maybe you get your whole body into that side bend. And then you can lift and lower. If you're in the hug, lift and lower your head. If you're in eagle arms, lift and lower the arms. Just flossing the shoulders here, and then we can hug and tuck the chin. Deep breaths. My cat's coming over. So you can find another squat low, whichever any way that feels good to you. Feet a little wider or closer together, heels lifted or lowered, feet pointed forward or turned out. <laughs> maybe you have a pet at home that you can think about and send love to, and or maybe you have one that's bothering you in your yoga practice now. So come back to that forward fold from your squat. Again, only folding however low feels good to you, right to you. <laughs> and then we'll take another big standing stretch here. Clasp your thumbs and pull them away from one another even though they're locked. Get strong here in the legs and core and then shift up and over to one side. Think about lengthening all four sides of your body though. Deep breaths the whole time and lengthen all four sides of your body, front, back, and both sides from fingers to toes. Switch the lock or lacing of your thumbs when you switch sides and deep breaths again. Lengthening all sides of your body. Big stretch up and over, deep breaths. When you come back out of that, move however feels good to you. And then we're going to come into a standing lunge. You can be on the ball of that back foot if you're able to. You want to get really strong in particular here. So relax and soften the upper body, the shoulders. But get strong in the legs and try to balance your hips. Maybe you feel the hip bones. And maybe you challenge yourself to lower to the knee slowly and then lift back up. Just checking that you're able to stabilize strong in the legs and pelvis and core. 
but still breathe and upper body and soften your thoughts and not have judgment about it at all. And then if you feel strong in the low body, it might feel good to reach up, or move in whatever other ways feel good to you here for a couple of breaths. It's just such a seemingly simple but valuable shape to experience ourself in and to challenge the body and breath. Maybe you reach back or out to the sides. Again, just letting your own body guide you and then we can drop that knee for a big stretch. And this might look a lot of different ways. So I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see some options here in a minute. But maybe you um, can't quite comfortably bring your hands to the ground and you're up higher in the lunge. And you can just stretch a bit into it with some pulses leaning in and out. Or if you're able to bring hands down, maybe back foot pointed or flexed. But you could inchworm that knee back just to comfort for you. Now make sure that front knee isn't forward of your ankle. We can rock the hips back now and stretch the front leg, the back of the front leg. You could be up high or fold however low you're able to here. And there's another way to access this stretch I'm going to show you in a minute. So you can stay here in this version if it feels good to you. Or you could take pyramid pose where you're actually going to come to stand on both feet. They're about hips distance or a little narrower and then just fold to comfort. So. Here, I'm in it quite deep. I'm hypermobile. I've been practicing for like 20 years. So if, um, where, if it feels better to you, come upright, halfway. You can stay halfway. The spine is long, so it's about straightening the legs as best you can as a foundation with both heels grounded and then lengthening the spine. Whenever you're ready to come out of all of that, you might shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. I know it seems silly. It's so good for you. Take a couple deep breaths, grab a drink, a water, or move in whatever ways you need. Hmm. When you're ready, we're going to come to that eagle pose on the second side. So I take a lot longer setting it up on this second side, uh, which is a lot harder for me to balance on this foot and ankle and knee so stretch out your toes set up the foundation check in look at your foot balance there cross leg over use the other foot as a kickstand the lower you sit the easier it is to use that other leg as a kickstand and get tall in the rest of your body use your arms to balance you might be able to lift the leg I'm not able to wrap my foot on this side so I just keep trying to squeeze the legs together Wrap up in the hug, squeeze the arms together, or eagle arms, same, squeezing the arms and legs together and lengthening your spine as you try to press into the standing leg, sit the hips low, and lift the heart and spine high. Deep breaths here. Make sure that you're breathing. You could even be doing this sitting in a chair. You're imagining you're sitting back in a chair either way. Elbows are shoulder height. So keep the arms, whether it's the hug or the eagle arms, shake out the legs, release them whenever you need. And then you can tip side to side a little if that feels okay. Deep breaths and checking in and it feels safe for your neck and the rest of your body. And then you can come back to that. Uh, oh, lift and lower the arms a time or two or if you're in the hug, tuck the chin to chest. If you want to when you come out of eagle arms on this side you could come back to that hug and tuck chin to chest for deep breaths or I think I offer it again here in a minute <laughs> take another moment to move or breathe in whatever ways that you need here uh, my cat was going after some birds so I went to stop the cat from chasing the birds and the birds were fine so I'll take a moment maybe to stretch your arms overhead Maybe to shake it out quite a bit or jump up and down if you need to build some energy. Or to take that ragdoll forward fold again. Yeah, the birds are all good. It's all good and safe. So I come to check the time here. We're almost at 15 minutes where I like to be, but we end up going about 10 minutes more from here. So if you need to go, you can pause this and finish later, or you can take a minute to sit and relax and breathe and count your blessings before you end your practice. 
If you want to take another few uh, movements here, I'm taking a toe stretch. So turning the toes forward, stretching the toes all out. Really stretch the toes all out. Use your hands if you need. Point them all forward. And then see if you can keep the toes flexed while you bring the knees down. You might need to keep leaning forward or you may be able to sit upright. It's a big, huge toe stretch. So you're lifting your upper body. Like draw the belly in and lift your upper body up with the strength of your pelvic floor and core so that you're not real heavy on your feet. It's a big stretch. Again, deep breaths. If you want to take another little stretch while you're here, bring one hand to the low back. That palm faces out. Bring the other hand to the heart, lift your heart, and then maybe that hand to the back of your head, lay your head back in the hand. It's a big shoulder stretch. Whenever your toes need a break, you can just stand on the knees, or you could just point the feet, but you could keep the feet flexed in that stretch. Whenever you're ready to switch arms, make sure you have some wiggle room there, and even though you could take the hands closer together, try it with palm out at your low back, palm in behind your head maybe you sit back into that toe stretch again lifting the heart and depending on what you're able to engage and what you're able to release this could be a really big challenge in strength and stretch you could point the toes to sit back and experience there you could also be just sitting in a chair or sitting cross-legged let's take our spinal ranges of motion cat and cow inhale stretch the front exhale stretch the back try to get the whole spine moving from your hips to your head shake that out do as many as you like and then a little side to side you could keep it moving the same way or you could linger in this side deep breaths and the arm could reach or you could lay the head back in the hand or the arm could drape overhead experiment with your breath and what feels helpful nourishing in your body how your body works stretch out fingers wrists take your time to switch sides whenever you feel called no rush like really feel what's happening the foundation of the legs and the pelvis and that side bending of the spine picture what the spine looks like what you're trying to do visualize that side bending lateral flexion of your spine your lifeline from your hips to your head and feel the tight spots where it's sticky and breathe into them and adjust where you need coming out of that second side when you're ready and maybe give yourself a hug tuck chin to chest take some deep breaths that's a great way to stretch that upper back tends to get pretty tight for most of us deep breaths there you can open up to counter stretch and switch which arm is on top sitting tall lifting the heart but tucking chin to chest and relaxing the shoulders deep breaths <sighs> opening back up just whenever you're ready and then we'll take a twist from here you can lay down and take any version of a twist that you're ready oops sorry that's not what we're doing at all surprise we have to do our lunge on the second side <laughs> so We'll get to uh, those twists here in just a moment, I promise. But set up your, sec your second side lunge, knee lifted or lowered. Get picky about the distance of the feet. It's okay to feel wobbly and be having to set it all up again. Check the pelvis. Maybe you can lift and lower. Again, you could stay high or low here. Take some deep breaths. Feel the foundation of the low body. If it feels safe to reach up, go for it strong and just as deep as you can feeling safe in that lunge and finding the edge of your balance between stretch and strength move in whatever ways feel right to you here stay high in the lunge however long you want and then we can take the stretch low same as we did on the first side but we're on a whole new side body probably feels much different so you might stay up high with hands on that front leg or if you can bring hands to the ground you could deepen now the way that we rocked forward and back before you could keep that going a few times you could always linger in either angle for as many breaths as you want or inhale lift the heart as you lower the hips exhale rock the hips back bow the head rocking forward inhale 
Rocking back exhale might feel good to keep that going or to linger in one part of it. And then again, you could take that pyramid pose standing stretch of that same um, same uh, standing version of that stand um, <laughs> lower stretch standing version of that other stretch keeping the heels grounded if you're here you're lengthening the spine you could have hands on a chair or blocks or you might be able to fold while we'll be different in that and you might just still be low in that lunge take as much time as you need to whatever version of that and then when you're ready take your time to come back upright and then all the way down and now we can take a twist of your choice you might lay all the way down and take a recline twist you might sit cross-legged or tuck one leg around behind if you prefer to sit upright and twisting away from the feet wherever you're at and deepening your breath and just settling in there no force no strain just lengthening the spine and deepening the breath the oxygen that you're sending to your vital organs every cell of your body so you could stay in the first side of the twist however long that nourishes you i know that the second side is what i need more so i skimped on the first side a little stay in that first side truly for as long as it feels like it nourishes you take your time whenever you unwind to pause and reset for at least a breath and then come into the second side whenever you're ready and again no rush you might still be chilling in that first side quite a bit especially if you're reclined only taking your time to switch and set up that whole new side to experience and take as many breaths as you can on that second side checking in with yourself your body your breath whenever you come out of that second side you might like to take bound angle or this butterfly stretch I usually like to take my feet really far away from my hips and give myself lots of space but here I felt really called to stay sitting upright and to draw my heels really closely in and I didn't think I wanted to fold forward, so I kept sitting tall and setting that up for quite a bit, trying to move my rib cage forward so it's over my pelvis and my spine is aligned here. We tend to, you know, round our upper back and have our shoulders forward so much. So drawing the shoulders down with the clasp of the hands on the feet and the lifting of the heart, the dropping of the hips, deepening of the breath. And then you might feel called to fold forward. If you did, lead with the heart, not with the head. Lead with the heart, not with the head. Deep in the breath wherever you're at. You might like to keep the head lifted or it might feel safe to let it bow down. Deep in the breath wherever you're at. Deep in the experience that you're having breathing here and now as you. Stay folded as long as you like or upright or lean back when you want. This is the last little bit here that I would love to show you. So you could lean back to your forearms. <laughs> you could lay all the way. You could peace out here. I'm giving you peace out. You could lay all the way back and just totally relax. Or if you want to move a little bit and you're not ready to lay back, you don't want to quite relax. You could sit up cross-legged and then take this movement that... Is one hand low behind you, the other hand high, and you're getting your spine into all the movements, front to back, side to side, and twisting. Now try the same thing by bringing the hand to the heart instead of up and overhead, so you're trying to actually bring that movement into the torso. Then, keeping the cross legs, can you walk the hands forward, lift up and over, drop the hips? That's a big, huge stretch. Might feel pretty weird, Might may or may not be accessible to you, but could give it a go if it feels safe to try and then come back to sitting take some deep breaths here hands on the lap or prayer hands or hand to belly and heart maybe bow your head gratitude thank you for this breath thank you for this body these lungs this life thank you for this day for the sunshine for this air 
for the water and food in my body. Thank you for this smile. You can let a smile sneak across your face. Thank you for my ability to even see the good and the gratitude in my day. Send it out. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you.